Hello everybody, I am Mold Al West, and this is Dead Rising 2 once again. Still plenty of time until we gotta give Katie some more Zombrex. So we're just doing side things until that time comes. We've already got enough Zombrex, but we can never have too much of it. I like being overloaded on things that I would need. That way, if I ever need more of it, I don't gotta go searching for it. Now, why do you have a punching bag in a cage here? Is this a strength test thingy? If only I had a hammer to hit you with. Oh look, zombies. Good for them, they found a way in. I don't feel like fucking with it. But I do want to find me another flashlight and some gems with which to make another fucking lightsaber, but I don't feel like hunting it down. If I can find a looter running around with a flashlight, I can smack him upside the head and take it from him. You got another thing, tastes like chicken. That is another boss fight one, which we will probably do after doing Code Blue. And I just heard the sound of looters, and this place has gems, and looters usually carry flashlights. So, okay, crowbar, tomahawk. That one's got a flashlight. So we'll go ahead and use up this spike bat. And, yeah, fuck you. You're on the ground, and now you're dead. So, let's see if we can't just use up what's left of this bat here. It's close to breaking. Might as well push it right over the edge. I want me a damn lightsaber. And gems. Da, 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 da. Where'd the flashlight go? Where'd the fucking flashlight go? That's a tomahawk. Flashlight, flashlight, flashlight. I know one of you had a flashlight here. Did the flashlight fucking disappear? God damn it, the flashlight better not have disappeared. I ain't gonna be happy without a disappearing flashlight. Take that! And money fell out of that. I'll be taking that and tomahawk crowbar padded blue chair and a distinct lack of flashlight I feel as if I had been ripped off why do you have to do that to me should have picked up the damn flashlight before I went breaking my bat that's what the problem is that's what my problem is I didn't have my priorities straight and now we've got a disappearing flashlight instead of a fucking bat that I could have broken later. Bah! Well, at least this objective isn't very far away. It's right here in the outside area, this silver strip. It is a strip, but it doesn't look too silver. It looks blue. Silver isn't blue. Silver is silver. It's got its own damn color named after it. Uh-oh, message expired. Who cares? Now, let me see. Is there a flashlight in here? Because I really want to make another lightsaber. But I might not get a chance. I can, however, stick a lead pipe and some fireworks together, I think. Yes, I can. I remembered that rocket launcher. Yeah, we go. This thing's fun to dick around with. Now we're talking. Got some fucking heavy artillery up in here. Now that's how you clear a path, baby. But unfortunately, I, it's too big to go sticking in my pocket, so I'll just use it all up right here, right now. And we'll go find us this code blue, shall we? I think it might be right there in that place with the hearts. Or maybe not. The arrow might be leading me somewhere else. Can I even go in here? Yes, I can. No, I can't. It is locked. Get out my way! I gotta go find somebody. That is a flashlight. Tim Duggan is dead. Well, too bad for Tim Duggan. There you are. Keep on pounding on his chest. That'll help him. Hey, pal, you need a hand there? Everything okay? I've got to save him just a little more. 
time can't stop. Do you think he has a chance? No, no, he's dead. I knew it. But I feel so bad. I'm a paramedic. I should have been able to help him. I'm sure you tried as hard as you could. I'm a failure. I can't be of service in this awful place. Oh, no, why I should even go on. Quit whining. Look, it's not your fault. There's a safe house. Follow me! Yeah, real life people, your medical skills might be good. Let's fucking go, Sven! I'm gonna take this money, and I got me a level up out of that. Speed increase, hell yeah, that is so much better. I already moving, no, moving noticeably faster, and I can make an air horn. Yeah. Which is a surprisingly effective weapon that only works on zombies and not crazy people. You just... Right up in their face, and it makes their heads explode. Which is flat out goofy and doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, come on, Sven, just push your way through the horde. And I'm gonna make a quick pit stop over here so I can slap together another fucking lightsaber. With some gems and a flashlight, I get the power of fucking Jedi's. Well, it's red, so it's a Sith weapon, but you get the idea. Fucking badass. Let's go! And not waste any time cutting our way through the horde. We'll just skillfully bob and weave between them and not get grabbed! As we make our way over here into the Royal Flush Plaza, because that's where we got to get to. And it did say that this dude might know where to find some Zombrex. He might even have some Zombrex on him. Good thing he's close enough to get in here, because I don't feel like waiting. So... Is this a door that's right there at the security room entrance, or the one that's all the way on the opposite side of the Royal Flush Plaza? Opposite side, got it. Let's go, Sven! We haven't time to be wasting! We gotta get you to safety, and then you'll be giving me Zombrex, probably. Or you'll at least tell me where to find some, and then I will immediately forget because I have already got plenty of it. But could definitely stand to get more. Come on, hurry up, mister! We gotta get to safety! And safety has been reached. But it's not good enough. You gotta crawl through some vents and get into the shelter. And then we'll go and take care of that other boss fight side objective. Because that's going to be fun. It is fun fighting people who aren't zombies and possibly getting killed in the process because they are a more dangerous prey. Now move it, Sven. Move your big slow ass. You only seem slow because I've gotten faster. I see that. But still, fuck you for not being fast. Those things are making me work too damn hard. No shit. Now go sit down. See if we're going back out there. I have Zombrex to here, take it just in case. Oh yeah. I got me some Zombrex. That's five of them now. And is that enough to get me another level? Nope. Just a little short. No matter. We'll be getting plenty of experience as we slay our way through zombies and go and... Do some and some is tasting like chicken. Fucking go time, baby. Let me take a quick look here. This is sending me over to the food court. And okay, yeah, it's probably faster to just run from here all the way over there instead of looking for a tunnel entrance to cut across. Cause. I just happened to start thinking about that. What is it this time? An industrial fashion? Save the construction workers. Fighting to stay alive? Yeah, we can do that after we're done tasting the chicken. Damn it, can't climb over slot machines. They're too slot machiney! They're unclimbable! Damn you people and your inability to make a climbable slot machine! You all sicken me! You focus more on making money over people being able to climb over and escape from zombies! How many people have died because of your slot machines not being able to climb over and... What is it? Yeah, it needs Zombrex between 7 and 8. 
and we ain't it ain't seven or eight yet so let me take a quick look for yeah we got four hours stacy what are you pushing me for four hours is four hours and that's plenty of time for me to go up in here and fight the dude in here but let me take a quick look is there a bathroom real fast right, right around here real fast I don't see one okay there is one over here in the Yucatan this is a goddamn food court what kind of food court doesn't have a bathroom in it sometimes the pizza stand gives people diarrhea and they gotta get to the bathroom real fast poorly designed food court distinct lack of bathrooms and all that shit So, uh, what you doing, mister? <laughs> come in, come in. Finally here. Yeah. I have earned one. They call me the king of cuisine. I've been expecting you. What? Well, you're uh, a little bit late. But it's good you finally made it. Um, who do you think I am? So are you saying that you're going to make me into dinner or you're going to make dinner for me? I really want some clarification on that because that's some some very wordy wordplay you got in there. And yeah, he likes to run around and eat stuff and get his health back. Ow. He just smashed my face with a frying pan. That ain't good. Hey, quit eating that. I'm trying to kill you and you're healing. That's rude. Very rude. I do love the laser sword, but it doesn't hit fast enough. It hits too slow, and he's over here getting his health back real annoying-like. And Why can't I hit you? Why do you have those annoying-ass invincibility frames while you're swinging? That's some bullshit right there. Quit your eating. I'm gonna back up before you swing. There. Oop. He took another swing. He weren't supposed to do that. Quit running away. Yeah, get that zombie away from your delicious meal. Ow. I probably should have seen that coming. He wasn't distracted eating. Now, yeah, you're eating. I'm smacking. There we go. Oof. That's the problem here. Don't go cramming shit down my throat. Let me fucking move, please. You piece of shit. Get... Okay. You cheating fucker. You were not supposed to be able to do that. Now, let me see. I believe this was the most recent one. Is this gonna throw me all the way back to the damn safe house? I think it is. It definitely says safe house down there. So, fuck. Fuck me in the ass. And I really don't feel like walking all the way back there just to have that same thing happen again. 
So, I'm going to end this episode right here, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Goodbye!